Uh, with the media house, uh, the HO in, uh, is in Kolkata. It's just a big house. So in media, you all know that uh, the information data is power. So somehow we need to protect our data, uh, whether it's mobile, or whether it's in rest. So data is the key concern for any media house. So if you talk about a security to protect this data or server or solution or application, we have implemented multiple solutions <coughs> within perimeter, beyond perimeter. So within perimeter is a very common thing uh, that is a endpoint solution. Previously it was only antivirus. Now it is uh, reframed as uh, endpoint solution. It consists of uh, AV, anti malware solution and other stuff. And obviously uh, within perimeter, we have a next gen firewall and uh, maybe anti-APT solutions and, and similar kind of various security solutions we generally place into within the uh, perimeter. But beyond perimeter, in fact, within last, <coughs> sorry, last, uh, uh, within this two years, this pandemic years, uh, users are working from home. In media also, editors, journalists, in fact, uh, ad advertisement sales and marketing team and circulation team members, they're also working from home. So the, so the concern is beyond the perimeter. So whether we are working from home or anywhere and connecting to our office, that means we're connecting to our application server or the uh, file server or the digital uh, library server. Uh, this is the concern. So here we have, yes, we have implemented a zero trust solution, but as Ajay said, uh, told that it is not, not only to implement or install a zero trust solution into individual machine, individual laptop, desktop or server. It is something else, it's a, it's a cultural change. Because a human being, we generally trust each other. So that's the basis of a relationship. So it's very difficult to implement such kind of thing. So when we started this work from home journey, initially we, we didn't have this kind of solution. So we, we believed uh, uh, in that normal traditional VPN only. But gradually, maybe within a couple of months, maybe uh, within, I think, uh, end May, 2020, because we, we are looking for some uh, zero trust solutions like XYZ, I, I should not take any name. And it was very difficult for us to implement remotely, we, to implement a zero trust solution remotely, and somehow we need to manage those remote uh, laptops from the HO office and install and implement some, something, XYZ solution, it was tremendous activity. And during that time, especially from editorial side, we got resistance. So why this kind of solution you are uh, uh, installing and then there are several layers and I cannot uh, access this server. Initially when I, I was in an office, we had everything uh, in, in, the, in the access list. Now you are not giving access to X, Y, Z, X, etc. So yes, it's a, it's a cultural change. It's very difficult to implement such kind of thing. We should have enough time to engage those uh, users, those remote users or critical users and do uh, various kind of workshop. So what is zero trust? It's, it's not, a, not only a buzzword, it's something else. But now everyone is satisfied. So everyone, uh, everyone is working from various location and we're quite satisfied on that. So this is zero trust solution. So this is not enough. So having the logs of this uh, activities from the remote users, we have uh, SIEM and deception technologies in place. So this logs of, of the transactions from this endpoint uh, laptops to servers, this is very important. We should have a proper analysis on those logs, how this Mesh endpoints are connecting to HO server, file server, application server. That is very important. Is there any gap? Is there any, <coughs> sorry, is there any malicious intent in the transactions that we should do? We should know. Apart from the traditional SIEM activity like uh, uh, getting uh, correlated, correlated activities, etc. So that's a common thing. But we should, someone has to, or someone or some solution has to read those logs or, or translate those logs in a dashboard form. 
to understand what is going on. So just implementing a zero trust solution is not enough. So that's my view.